Aha, back again. Well, you're back again. So, this is now. Um, let me start my workout so that I can log all of it. This is day six of my cut. And so far, so good. I, I wouldn't actually complain about all of it. It's gotten easier after every single day. But I think this is what, the one fourth of the way through if I'm doing this for 24 days. Um, as I've discussed in previous video, I don't know. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's 24 day one and then I might do it again sooner. I know a lot of people do them for like six weeks and this is like what, like a little over three weeks, but this is sort of like the trial run. See how I feel, how I do. The other night, I forgot to mention this in the last video. My last talking game, the one where we won like 11 to seven or whatever, I didn't feel all that great. So something I've been trying and as I've been learning while going throughout this process is I have been, like I kind of just knock out as much protein as I can in the morning. So to leave myself with like more carbs in the afternoon, which will help, I hope for the next hockey game. I'm even thinking about getting one of those like the carb drinks. Um, what are they called? Like, I don't know, it's called like carb something, carb balance, or I forget what it was called. It was like this big, big fucking tub, huge scoop, and I would basically like just throw it in a shaker. Oh, sorry. Throw it in a shaker and it would give me like some extra energy before going to play hockey. But yeah. And I'm back with my, well, I was very unexpectedly wet at the bottom but back with my huge jug today it's not just water it is crystal light um who's that bodybuilder that used to live off this oh uh, the quarterback's name too jay cutler right they're the same name i think yeah, yeah but i think he's the one that i lived off of it and i gotta tell you it really really helps the cravings So I'm going to stick with this as long as I can until I get sick of it. Then I'll move on to the next thing to keep me satiated. Which, by the way, I was talking about it the other day. Glycemic index, I believe, is for that's for anything that gives, that raises your insulin. But this, um, Satiation or sati, sa sa whatever it's called, satiation index is how much the food makes you feel full. So again, like I was right, so like eggs make you feel very full. Um, I think, again, I think what I was reading was that glycemic index is a little bit different than that because it's only things that affect your insulin levels, which isn't everything, but. Let me know if I'm incorrect about that. But yeah, so what we got on the docket today is I have cardio, which I am currently doing for 30 minutes, and then we have legs. And then I'm thinking about starting to, I might start breaking out some of the hockey videos. Um, but today we'll do we'll do something quick. I don't know yet though. It should be in the title what kind of drill we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna try and think of something. Maybe something stupid. I'm feeling like just showing you something stupid today. Like, ooh, maybe we'll do like shooting between the legs. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do shooting between the legs. We did the Michigan last time, so you know another beer league hero move is to uh, shoot between your legs. So we will we'll review how I practice that, which as I said in the last video, I've never scored on the Michigan, but shooting it between my legs, scored like that many times. I am proud to say I have. So we will 
We'll do that one next. And then for legs, sorry, not next. We'll do that last. But for legs, hamstring curls, hack squat machine, and then leg extensions. Um, I think we're gonna do like three, no, we'll do like four sets. Now nah, we'll do five sets, hamstring curls, four, four with one warm up set. And then three sets of hack squat, like fully, fully maxed out. Um, with, uh, I'm gonna keep my, like going, focusing on like knees over toes kind of thing. Um, and then lastly, just gonna, I'm honestly just gonna keep doing sets of leg extensions until I can't. So I'll play it by ear on that one. But yeah, and then it'll be fun to see trying to do the hockey thing at the end to see how my legs feel. It might be kind of funny. But yeah, besides that, I got my uh, got my strawberry lemonade. No, raspberry lemonade. Something lemonade. A crystal, a crystal light. Watch something on the television while I continue doing this workout. Scroll through some reels. And I will see you on the hamstring curl machine right now. Oh, okay. So I've been told by the boss that I need to uh, not dilly dally. So I'm just going to sort of get right into it after. Yeah, that's correct. Um, the, uh, the jersey I chose today is the Calgary Flames. Um, with, uh, enjoyed watching them a few years ago. But then once they got rid of Matthew Kachuk and Goudreau, they seem to kind of fall off the map for those hockey fans that are watching. Uh, you probably saw. But okay, so hamstring curls. I, whenever I get down to the bottom, so I'm going to go lightweight the first time. This is again, it's like just warming it up. I did my warm up, but this is like a different warm up. Uh, warm up set, actual formal warm up set. But once we get down to the bottom, I'm gonna kind of like I'm gonna hold it for like a split second, like squeeze it and then release and go back up. Okay, so I'm gonna go to like 30 or 40 or something. Back in a second, I'm gonna add some weight, um, probably like a 35, and then one more set. Go. Okay. I know that these workouts have all been sort of monotonous. Oh, that's not the right word. Redundant? No, redundant's not the word either. The word is pretty much the exact same each time. Um, again, working out in a home gym, you don't have that many options. You know, like cool machines or stuff. So I've thought about working out at like an actual gym. I might do it. So I can like do different exercises. 
But let's go for set number two. And I don't know how many I want to do. I'm just going to go and then rep out some partials at the end. Yeah, so we'll see. That was tough. Okay. I'm gonna take like a one minute, one and a half minute break to recover. Be right back. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more weight. <laughs> and add another 10 pounder on there. I got a drink from my ridiculous jug of crystal white. Um, you know the videos I've been watching a lot lately? John Meadows. For for those who, he passed away a few years ago. If if you lift and you watch YouTube videos about people lifting, you've definitely seen his videos. He's, I miss his, uh, or his, his content's still there, but he, he's definitely like an OG, one of the best, um, at least for me, in, um, when I first started lifting. But yeah, he was, uh, his videos are, he does such a good job. He knows like all like the science, the mechanics behind everything. Like I don't, I, I don't know as much of that stuff. I'm trying to learn. I'm more just like throw on the weight, push it around, eat protein. Or eat more than protein, but play hockey. And yeah. But the guy was a legend, or still is, if you can say that. But I'm going to do one more. No, sorry, two more. Two more. Let's go. <clears throat> Shake them off a little bit. Another person that was sort of like for like for me an OG of like fitness YouTubers was is a Greg Doucette. For he's more for like the, the um, dieting portion. Now I don't look like I'm following his circle diet to a T, and that's because I'm not because I don't really diet until now. Day six. I've been uh, been more of like bulking the last like thirty some years, so um, I've been more of like a bulking rather than cutting. So this is this is new, this whole cutting thing, but um, cutting weight thing. But yeah, 
a lot of for again for those who are still watching at this point in the video which are few and far between but those like john meadows greg Doucette, um I even like watching uh, Brian Shaw's videos are hilarious. If you like, like that's like the big strongman guy went to his, uh, his classic a few years ago. And then, yeah. Um, shredded sports science guy is amazing. If you need to know anything about like the mechanics behind this, behind movements, um, about supplementation, stuff like that. Same with uh, Jeff um, Nippard. Nip Nippard? Yeah, I think that's his last name. But yeah, all of them just great resources out there. There's it, it kind of it's kind of weird that there's there's not really an excuse anymore. It's, ne it's never like I don't know what to do. It's like fucking type it in. It's right fucking there on your on your phone. Just type it in. You'll you can figure it out. But last set. <laughs> Okay. Oof. Moving on to uh, hack squats. Damn, I really need to uh, clean my garage. Ooh, this is high. So yeah, so once again, the way I'm gonna be doing these is I'm going to be starting, my feet are gonna be sort of like further down on the plate and like just as a demonstration, I'm gonna be going like knees over toes. And so I can't really go much further than that. So, but it really just gets the quad. So I'm gonna do three sets of this failure and then we're gonna move on to uh, leg extensions, then that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm gonna add like 50 pounds, I think. I know I'll add, I'll add 70. Be right back. Okay, on to set number two. Again, feet sort of like shoulder width, a little bit closer in than shoulder width. Let's go. Got to like 35 with those partials. With this movement, I just mean, so like you can see like these 45s are like literally like 20, 30% bigger than if I just had like standard plates. I just need to go get, invest in some like 45 plates. It'd make this a lot easier. So just add more weight, I mean. 
I'm a little bit out of breath though, as you can tell, which is good. We have one more set of these, and then leg extension's all set up, ready to go. Knock out a few of those. Be back in a sec. Okay, last set of these. That sounded bad at the end. Or that sound was bad at the end. <sighs> Went to like 45 with partials, but it was worth it. Oh, not gonna be able to walk in the morning though. Again, why do I say stuff like that? I mean, I'm not gonna be able to walk in the morning, but the internet's forever. So I filmed these kind of out of order. So I actually have a hockey game tomorrow, but we'll be getting this video after that hockey game. So if you watch these in order, which I know that almost nobody does, you will, uh, I'll probably be bitching and moaning about how tired and sore my legs are. But there's only one guy who can blame for that, and that is this guy. So future me is gonna hate current me for doing all this when I have a game tomorrow. But you will get the aftermath possibly in a video before then. So I'm gonna be trying to film like a post game like how do I feel kind of video? We'll see though. Maybe you won't, maybe you won't get, maybe you won't get that in this entire thing will be cut out of the video with some editing that I will do with in Microsoft Paint. So, okay, why was I about to do that? Let us go. First set. I gotta add some serious weight. Okay, maybe not serious weight. I'll add 25 more. See how I feel next set again. I'm not gonna go that long between sets, so. Oh, and for those asking, Shoulders. I usually do that on leg day. My shoulders still, my shoulders still a little bit pinched. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna let it rest. I might throw in some shoulders on like the next arm day. Um. So just look forward to that. Okay. Let's fucking go. <sighs>
I'm going to add another 25. Okay. Two more sets. Then I'm done. All right, let me get up and walk around for like two seconds. Um, do short rest and then just crush the last one. Okay, last one. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna go show you that quick hockey drill then. We're done. Okay, we're gonna make this one very quick because I am fucking starving. So, this is a great breakaway move. And so I am right handed. So I'm gonna be starting like this. So I would be going up against most goalies gloves. So, and I'm a little bit closer to the net than I typically would be. But so here's, eh, move this is right here. The other time this works is if there's like a rebound sitting right here, quickly pull and chip. So I got all these pucks right here. It's literally, so you, before you go between your legs, you can start by just going like this and chipping it that way. So like this, and all you want to do is just lift it. Pull it back, oh, not like that. So pull it back, and lift it. Pull it back, lift it. Pull it back, not like that. Pull it back, lift it. Now, you go between your legs, instead of pulling it back like this, and lifting it, you just pull it back like that. That kind of looks like a funny move. You go back like that, and then you flip it. So it's as easy as this. Go back, oops. go back, chip it. Back between the legs, chip it. Go back, chip it. It's actually a little bit easier on skates because this stick is a little bit long because the, I'm usually on skates, but you can go back and chip it. It's really it. So again, whenever you first want to start, you kind of pull it back, but then you just go between your legs. You also sort of want to, while you're coming back through, you're lowering your hand. That was an exaggeration, but lower your hand to chip it up. You see, so you're kind of doing one of these. So it needs to be loose. Next. Now you can even do one of these where I think it's the bark off where you go back. Oops. You don't want to do one of those. 
you do this, you go back, and you flip it back to go back, oops, go back. So yeah, so that's, I think he did that in a playoff game actually. But yeah, so that's shooting the puck between your legs. Practice it primarily whenever your coach is talking about something very important. Just go to the corner, like just turn around. For those who are still in youth hockey, do that. But for those beer leaguers, try it pretty much any time you're on a breakaway. Like, I think that's the go-to, that's the go-to move. That, we're trying out the Michigan. Trust me, every one of them, including your teammates, will love you for it. But yeah, to be completely honest though, this is actually a decent move, especially when there's just a rebound right here. Oh, pull it back. Again, you don't have to be going bar down with it. You can, like, you just really gotta make it over his pad. So, but that's all from me for today. I hope you learned a little bit of something. I hope you survived listening to me. See y'all next time.